big yawn from the Fergus. So we're eh, 10 o'clock in the morning on day 15. Stitch, re <laughs> Stitch recovery went well. Look at that. Look at that, how good it looks. Yeah. He slept in bed with us last night. He did okay. I woke up every time he moved because I got worried he was going to jump off the bed. But he didn't. So that's it. Unless something happens, we're just going to do mini updates for the next couple weeks. Yeah. Mini updates, huh? buddy it's carrots I'm making chipotle lime chicken in the crock pot so Fergus got carrot extras day 16 just cooped up again huh just cooped up again doing pretty good happier laying down so we're still in day 16 mom and I went to the movies Fergus is getting antsy and ornery. All right, Chip, put your ears up. Yeah. And then Angus came in a cage with him. Hi, Angus. Hi, brother. Oh, hi, Angus. Somebody's jealous. Angus. Angus. Angus, seriously? Come here. Come here. Say hi to everybody. Say hi, everybody. I think he actually upstairs. Come up and kiss him. You gonna shake? Thank you. Fergus. Can you shake? <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Quit being jealous. It's not nice. Are you jealous, Angus? No. You can go if you want. You have the freedom to leave. Fergus. Say hi, everybody. The seatbelt unfastened sign is on, Angus. Hi. Oh, hi, Angus. Thank you for the good Thank you. Your brother gets mad. Do get mad. You get mad. Thank you. I got you. You going? I'm out of here, dude. He gets to leave whenever he wants. This one does not. Fergus. <gasps> Angus, did you make it outside? Angus, are you outside the cage? He don't care. <laughs> Why do you do that? <laughs> somebody out there? <laughs> we have a corgi sized window in our house. <laughs> Are you good, Fergus? Yeah. Are you still mad, bud? Fergus, is the Yogi Bowl comfortable? <laughs> I probably shouldn't have gotten the black cover. But is it comfortable? Do you like it? <gasps> Look, if we know squishy around your body. Just moving. No, you can't move because then it does that with your paw. All right. You don't really like you just liked it because Daddy was with you, huh? Yeah. Watch his butt. Here you go. Watch his bad leg. Are you just happy? So someone had a super terrible day 16. Yes. <laughs> he wanted. All of his people in one room. Yeah. So now he's got all of his people. Good morning. It is October 14th, day 17. He's doing pretty good. He slept soundly last night. Dan's off today because it's Columbus Day, so he's going to stay home and hang out with the dog, and I'm gonna go to work. <gasps> yeah, I'm gonna go to work. I know, 
Maybe you can come on Wednesday. Yeah. It's Monday night. He was rolling around, being all cute. Then I got the camera and he stopped. So, let's do an update. Looking pretty good. There we go. Look at that. Looks all good. Dan said he hasn't bothered it except for being whiny today. Are you being whiny, Fergus? <laughs> so he got done stretching and rolling around and then I grabbed the camera and he stopped. It's Tuesday morning, October 15th. I think we're at day 18. Nineteen, maybe? Don't even know. But we're doing good. He's going to get left alone today. Dan and I talked about it. We're not going to put the collar on him. So we're going to get outside one more time before I got to go to work. Fergus, are you mad? Don't be sad. I know. So I was getting ready for work and I came out. He was lick, lick, licking his leg. So, we're going to put the collar on today. He's not happy. I ain't nobody. And then, hopefully, he'll just get better. I just don't want him getting his incisions pretty well healed, but there's like a couple scabby parts, and I don't want them getting infected. So, that's what we're going to do today. Frickus, you don't have to be mad. Yeah, we're going to spend a few minutes together before I go to work. love my dog. He's such an idiot. Fergus has decided he's going to become a veterinarian for other dogs. He's got a stethoscope. Yeah, four grand a pop, you can make some money. <laughs> Thank you, BarkBox. Thank you. It is Wednesday, October 16th. Brought him to work again. He was kind of annoying this morning, but he settled right down. And it's, I don't know, 2.30, 3 o'clock? He's not happy, but at least he's with me. Yeah. Looking good, bud. Good morning. It is Thursday, October 17th. He's going to be home again all day by himself, but I'm going to not put... The collar on him he should be fine he was pretty good at work yesterday so it's day 19 of recovery tomorrow will be three weeks since surgery We're doing pretty good he really just wants to play and do things and keeping him contained is gonna get harder and harder so we'll see what happens and uh, we have dinner with Dan's parents there in town so we'll be out tonight so he's gonna be locked up quite a bit today so we'll see how he does and if we keep getting angry corgi face. Yes, angry corgi face. So anyway, I'll check in with you guys after work. Okay, so we're a little bit late in the day. It is Friday the, I don't know, October 18th, I think. So we're at day 17 of recovery. He is exactly, is that right? No, it's gotta be the 20th day because he's one day out from three weeks. Yay, I can't keep track, bud, you're doing so good. I know, you're doing so good. And we're camping, so we'll see how he does. He's gonna be mad he doesn't get to run. Oh, bud. Camping is so hard on the corgi. He just went back, belly up, all crooked in his house. Yeah, because camping is so difficult, huh?